everybody welcome back to farming simulator 2022 my name is nolan how are you doing today today we've got a great great thing going on our silage is ready to be sold with that i am hoping that we are able to afford a chicken pan chicken coop whatever you would like to call it we need chickens by getting chickens we are going to be so much more set up for success i need to get this thing up in the air this is a constant problem i've been facing and it's just because our tractor is not um absolutely massive uh, but let's just see what we get here I wonder if I can just keep going. No, I cannot. I cannot. Uh, lift it up just a little bit more, get our wheels back on the ground. But yeah, this is kind of what I've been dealing with. I've just been doing everything I can to just try and fight with this. Uh, so I'm gonna get this one filled up. That is a-okay. Let us go sell this off. And here we are. Let us see just kind of what this is worth. All right. It looks like we made a nice chunk of change there. 3,573 more dollars. I am just going to make a couple more runs here. Because, I mean, truth be told, we still have quite a bit of money sitting in that silo. We've got another $7,500 worth in that silo, so that's at least two trips. With those two trips, I mean, look, we can sell for about $7,500, and with that, we will be able to afford the chickens. Finally, 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 things are looking up. I will. I'll see you when we're all done with this. All right. Here we are. Another load in. This is... I, I didn't record the middle load. I figured it was just going to be kind of the same thing as this one. Uh, but either way, I left about 2,000 liters of silage in the bunker silo. And that's just because it didn't fit in the trailer. We got three full trailers out, which makes sense. We had a little over three go in. Now... I would really like to be able to, like, buy a trailer to move chickens, but I just don't think that's how it works. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to drive back to the farm here, um, because regardless of what happens, we're going to have to try to find a way to transport the chicken feed and i don't know how we're going to do that we could look for like a small trailer and that might be the course of action we take of just trying because we're still gonna have to try to like move the pallets to sell them so a trailer makes sense so that's what we're doing we're gonna bring this back uh we're gonna look to get our chicken pasture placed and then we're gonna look and see we're buy one thing a chicken feed probably and then figure out what we have to do to get a trailer so that we are able to actually use this to our advantage and we're going to leave this right here because we're going to be digging in to that pit anyways but let's just take a peek because i know for a fact we want chickens and we kind of looked at this here little guy i mean i don't want to go way on the bottom of the hill because like why would we want to use that real estate when we've got all of this up here still? It's far away, but I think it is worth the cost. Look at that. They even get the little belts in there. How nice of it. That is awesome. Let's go up and take a peek at this thing. Here we are. Look at this beautiful beautiful thing it looks like our max price on our chickens is going to be all the way up to fifty dollars a piece a five dollar fee so it looks like a ten percent fee 
will be applying if we don't transport them. That being said, what I'm looking to do, they have to, let's see, gestation period of two months, puberty at six months. I think we're gonna start it with 20 chickens. And then they, the chickens, once we hit six months, which is only two silage cycles, you know, honestly, I think we go bigger. I think we go bigger because we want to get this thing rolling, don't we? Let's go 60 to 120, 120 to 180, and then two will hit at the same time. So it'll be close. It's only $360 to do that, too. Yes, I think that's a great, great deal. We now own <laughs> chickens. Hello, my fellow chickens. How are you today? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Isn't that nice? We have chickens. So now let us go to our animals page and you can see they want to eat grain daily food 3000 liters yearly 3600 good news and bad news good news is we have enough to feed them bad news is they're going to be hungry 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 little boys so wheat here oh, i guess i have the liftable ones that's perfect um i think we just buy the one because we know we need that and then we need to see what we can do about getting these guys to move. Pallet forks. I don't know what that... Oh, it goes on a John Deere. That'd be crazy. Oh, come on. Behave. Thank you very much. Uh, we're looking for... Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, no. Look at that. That is perfect. $2,700. We're able to move our pallets on this. Oh, no, we're not leasing. We buy, baby. We buy. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to see you guys at the shop. I'm hyped. Look at this. This is so awesome. We should be able just to... Oh, my gosh. We're going to let the tractor run. Got all these spots for ratchet straps. Um... And then this is the liftable one. Oh, is that auto repeller? Yo, yo, we are balling. We are balling with this. Let's go. I am so excited about that, honestly. I thought that we were gonna have to try to find a really nasty way to cheese all of this, but we don't. But we don't. Forty-six dollars in fuel. I will see you back at the chicken coop. I don't know how to get this away from the... I guess that's one way to do it, isn't it? That is one way to get it away from the auto load. Um, I hope this is the right... Okay, here we go. I just have to keep it off the ground, I guess. I don't know if we could necessarily hold 220 pounds off the ground long enough but hey we are doing great honestly look at this we are doing awesome and then they should like all of our eggs should come out right here oh man this is such a great great thing for us we're only going to use 300 liters of food daily which means that bag is going to last us until the next stylish cycle. So we're not going to go like incredibly into debt in order to make any of this stuff happen. Which I think that is great news in its own. So let's just leave the trailer up here. I don't foresee us needing it for anything down on the bottom. And I think we're going to have to do the usual here. We're going to need to get some more silage set up. We're going to need to get into the future. And, I mean, we have to cut more. So, yeah, I think what we do... Let's get the silage out. Let's get another three trailers worth. I think three trailers is a fair amount. If we get three more trailers worth into the silo, then we're going to be able 
to confidently go ahead in time so we know we'll be able to afford the cost of our chickens feed so they can keep growing uh, yada 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 something about making money all right uh, but let's just get this done quick how that's just ridiculous and there we are that is a lot of mowing and I'm not done yet because I still have to get this all picked up I have no idea what it was doing but yeah no we'll see what's going on literally right as I cut away there I came up with a glorious idea that involves the wagon that I'm leaving behind um I figured man if only there was some way to make it so there was less rows that I had to deal with and then I was like wait there is a way to make it so there's less rows I have to deal with. Isn't that crazy? So, I figure what we'll do is we'll go pick up the silage that I had left over here. We'll go sell it for like the $400 it's worth or something. And we'll see if I can afford a decent sized windrower. Because I think that would be, oh, yeah, you should have seen that coming. Should have seen that coming. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll meet up at the store. This is going to be glorious. I know I made a lot of money already this episode, but the thing I am most excited for, honestly, now is... Oh my, that's kind of big. Three and a, oh, that's six and a half. Woo! 35 horse? What do I have? 38 horse. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna buy that is unforeseen. I'm not allowed to lower it. It says my vehicle's motor is not. Huh. It has electricity. Like, it's got hydraulics. It's, got, it's all hooked up. But it just does not want to work. Um, we're going to be getting full value back for this because that is not very nice. Like, we should be able to use it. Yeah, so we're going to sell it. We're going to make sure we get full value because that's just, that's unintentional. Okay, that is disappointing. I was really hoping that that would have worked. That was a really nice working with, too. Six and a half meters for that price. So it's kind of disappointing that we don't get to use that um but honestly three and a half meters is still kind of nice but if we're willing to just go down the half five hundred dollars is kind of nice then i could just let's try this one out i'm gonna go get it and we'll be back again okay so i only made a slight miscalculation i had to buy the uh full bar for it as well but that was only 150 dollars so i'm in this piece of equipment for 650 dollars but, honestly looking, that is a pretty nice working with, and with that, I think we're going to be able to turn hopefully three rows, like if, if I just keep making it smaller, I think we're going to be able to really limit our time with the loading wagon, which is nice because that thing only goes like six miles per hour. So I'm going to windrow this field and, field, and we're going to see what I end up with here. It only took me probably, I think it took, I mean, it took me a bit to learn the windrower, so there's a little bit of that time in there as well. But, all in all, it probably took me 10, okay, I don't want to unhook this. The bar stays. I'll unhook it there, there we go. Um, it took me maybe 10 minutes, and it was 10 minutes at, you know, ripping just up and down the fields. Um, so it was a very high accuracy work, but we were able to get so much of it up. Like, oh, oh man, I'm loving that thing so, so very much. Let's get this in the silo, get it compacted, and then, I don't know, I, I feel like we're getting close to calling it a good episode. So let's just get this in the silo. Here we are, all said and done that was 10 passes over here it came up to be slightly less 
than I was anticipating, but that's okay. It's December. I think we were missing a growth stage because we didn't have any weeds in it yet. So I'm not concerned at all. Uh, not only that, but we'll be able to keep most of it in the silo this time. We've still got this middle path here, which this is about 8 to 10 passes. Uh, maybe not. That's 10 pass. Uh, that's 15. Yeah, so it's probably 10 passes right there. All right, with all that said and done, I think we are going to wrap up today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and or subscribe. Uh, just if you want to be able to see more content, especially on this series where we are going extra hard and attempting to just give ourselves as many headaches as possible. But again, thank you for tuning in. I will see you next time. Peace out.